Right guys, this is going to either go fantastically well or incredibly tits up. Well, what we're going to do is investigate something which I found in my little manual for this engine. Um, I bought a manual offline for these, it's just a photocopy of an original, so yeah, I'll trust it. Apparently when these carbs go wrong, these are the, uh, it's a, it's a Nikki 6 uh, 100, I think that's what it is. Um, these are an emissions carb, a factory set, and when they malfunction, you must replace it, is what Onan say. Even though they have overhaul kits, both the gaskets here and for the accelerator pump. Now, uh, well, apparently, this little cap here, you mean that little cap there, is a anti-tamper plug. It's used for a uh, fact. The engine is factory set, and that plug is put in to stop you from being able to adjust it. So we're going to test this theory. I can either take it out and it'll piss fuel, which is the bad scenario, or we'll take it out and there should be a little screw underneath it. Personally, I don't think there is going to be a screw, but I haven't got much. Oh shit! Shouldn't push that on. I haven't got really much to lose if it's not. So if that the fucking thing would go off the screen, zoom you in a little bit, and I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get this out. But it's likely to involve a screwdriver and a hammer. I don't have a hammer, so it'll have to be something such as a socket or a ratchet. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Oh, hey presto! There be a screw. That's fucking easy. Christ. Hey guys, if you ever want to get your uh, idle mixture screw for your own, that would be where it goes. Now this here, I'm not sure what that is, so, yes, I, th I think this is just a slightly modified version of the original. Because, uh, I think this is a G-Series, I can't remember for the life of me. And there is a tab on it somewhere which explains it all and my, uh, manual kind of says which one does what. I have to find now a fucking flatted screwdriver, that's a fucking miracle in my fucking workshop. Can't find no tools. Oh yes. So if we reaching it up like that much, hopefully that'll make it idle. So I'll get the fuel hook back up and we'll give it a try. And there it is, guys. It's me! Ah, me is so very happy. So much for anti tamper only and trying to get you to buy parts that you don't need. All you have to do is take out the little thingy my bob which I seem to have misplaced. The little cap thingy. It don't really matter. But yeah, I think that is very much a success. Oh, time to pull air though, which isn't good. Which means tonight I have used that much fuel. You, Odin, are very thirsty. Ooh. Shouldn't really run it too long without those side covers. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, there's another big problem with this engine. It's got a lot of piston slop. Which I'm not going to bother trying to fix until it does actually start to present a problem such as very low compression. But, yeah. I'm very, very happy now. It actually idles smoothly. I thought it was actually an ignition problem. Considering it actually has got these timing marks down here. You can see them? You see the numbers? But apparently they're completely factory set. And cannot be changed. So, hmm. These have a uh, magnetic pickup on them. They're not points and condense. Well, they are. It's got a condenser, but it doesn't have points, which is strange. But yeah. Oh, man, my eyes are burning. I need to put the fan on. There we go. Anyway, yeah. That's really about it. If anyone has any uh, advice on these engines, uh, whether or not I should actually bore it out, I think theoretically I should, but it's very expensive. I'm talking it's like $115 for. Each piston, well, that is piston rings. That's for a piston, a ring. Uh, sorry, for the piston, the rings, and for a new gudgeon pin and the little clips. There's an entire kit for each end. Yes, you do need two of them, 
and then you actually have to get the engine board out. I do happen to have, well, my partner's dad uh, just recently had an engine board out. So I might have, may have to uh, take a picture of it or even just strip the block down, take it to him and say, uh, how much would it cost just to get the two board out? I can't, I can't see it being expensive for two cylinders. So, especially little. To be honest, this isn't a big engine. It's heavy, and it's big for what it is, but it is fantastic in every way. I absolutely love this thing. Best engine I've ever had. Although, the little piece of advice in their manual wasn't so good. The manual is actually from Onan. And it says that these carburetors, these tamper-proof ones, have to be replaced when they start malfunctioning. That's because uh, the emissions laws on them. So they say that the, uh, well basically these engines have to perform to a certain standard and by modifying or rebuilding or doing whatever to your car may not resolve the problem or it will change the emissions rendering the uh, emissions laws on it illegal, well making it basically illegal for the emissions. So yeah. Oh well, quick easy fix. Ah, <laughs> I'm so chuffed with that you wouldn't believe. But anyway, I'll go and get editing. Maybe I should do some other videos too.